Roads were also a challenge for drivers in Murraysville this morning. Both main and side roads were covered. Amy Wattis talked to people who were braving the elements. It was a tough commute for many during the morning rush. Even some main roads like 22 here in Murraysville were treacherous for drivers, but that didn't stop some drivers from continuing on to their destination this morning. Once the snow started falling, it picked up in speed. <laughs> until it coated Route 22. Jesus, stay home if you don't have to come out. But a lot of people braved the roads, despite what Mother Nature brought with it, like Casey Purcell. Commuted from North Hills, and I'm going to Greensburg. I started at about 7.45 a.m. Purcell was sitting in the Sheets parking lot around 9.15 in the morning, taking a break from the elements when we caught up with him. It's completely covered. Yeah, I saw a plow come by the opposite direction. And it moved a bunch of snow, but there was still snow on the road when, after it went by. The weather stopped Bill Yant from working today, but he still left home to run some errands. Pretty bad. Most people shouldn't be out. I saw vehicles sliding all over the place. So. Ralph McCready was thankful for his truck today. It's a little bit of an adventure on the back roads. Uh, had to put it in four-wheel drive a couple times. And we caught up with Virginia Bredlinger and her brother Perry. They had another 45 miles to go until they were home, but she wasn't worried. He's a truck driver, so, yeah, so I don't know what I'd do without him. As long as we get there safely, and I know he will get us there. In Murraysville, Amy Wattis, KDKA News.